Well guys, we have some absolutely devastating news here. This man, Yuji Naka, has a huge role on Sonic Team in the past. For many, many years, from the original Sonic game all the way up to 2006, which was Sonic 06. This man here was the mastermind behind Sonic Team as he was the head of Sonic Team and he helped develop the original Sonic games Unleashed, um, what else did he do? I mean, Adventures and, you know, Sonic and Knuckles. He was responsible for all those great games. And, you know, after 06, he was no longer the, uh, the head of the Sonic team. But, I mean, he's been around, man. He's been around. He's been doing his own thing. I, he, he still had some type of involvement with Sega. And then he had his own company called Probe or something like that. He did have his own company here, as you can see. Uh, he was in Probe here, so I do want to see what Probe is. But yeah, I mean, he was an independent developer, so he made some DS games and all that good stuff. It was a private company, but it seems like he's finally moving on, man. That's a big shame. I know he hasn't been at Sega Team for a couple of years, but you know, most most of the time, these uh, these startup indie companies don't work out. You don't you don't typically hear about the ones that don't work out, but plenty of them don't work out. And that's just a way of life. And you know, there's some cases when developers actually return to their uh, original. You know, company. Not always, but there's always some situations when that happens here. So, there was always a, a hope that potentially he would come back one day. But now that he's moving on to Square Enix here, it definitely seems like this is never going to happen. He's never going to come back to Sonic Team, which means, guys, Sonic Team is pretty much dead at this point and I I don't really have any more expectations for the company without him and a, a bunch of a bunch of other people who have left over the years. I mean Sonic Forces was pretty clear. It's pretty obvious what was going on here. I mean they just simply don't have the talent they used to have. They don't really have the money to uh, fund such premium games anymore after consistent failures. I mean you can't I don't blame it all on Sega but a lot of it was Sega's fault. Sonic 06 was a mess. I understand you had to make Sonic and the Secret Rings at the same time as 06. But you should have just been like, okay, fuck you. We're not making Sonic and the Secret Rings. We're just making Sonic 06. And obviously I know that would have pissed off Nintendo. Because Nintendo's Wii and GameCube could not handle the power of that game. But still. You have, they have to keep your integrity intact. I mean, we, we didn't get Sonic Generations, right? They did that, they fucked us over with that game, so why not just fuck us over with Sonic 06? You could have made that a much better game if they had more time. And it's crazy how one game could destroy a company, but that's exactly what Sonic 06 did. I mean, he left in 07, 06 because of Sonic 06, I presume. And now he's with Square Enix, so that's going to be a big boost for Square Enix. The Final Fantasy games are really definitely going to get some type of quality increase. I mean, I know Sonic... And Final Fantasy have a lot of, they're not very similar at all actually, but he's just a great director and he really can help make the company and their games better. So I look forward to him doing that. So I mean, this is not a rumor. This is a fact here. He posted this on his Twitter. So I mean, this is 100% confirmed. And yeah. So, guys, if you want to purchase the most latest Square Enix uh, Final Fantasy game, I forgot that, I don't even know the name of it anymore. But it was an open world game, there's cars, it, it looked pretty cool, I like that game, it actually looks pretty cool. So if you want to purchase that game, Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. So thank you and bye.